all enjoyed that little intro, a little flashback from the past years here on my channel of all of the DIYs and plan with me's that I've done. And hello for 2017. This is my very first plan with me video and I'm so excited. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a DIY cover page, super easy. And of course, my monthly spread and my weekly spread. So if you want to see how to create little pretty things, then go ahead and keep on watching. Like usual, I will have everything listed down below in the description box. Don't forget to check out my shop, my blog, and also there will be coupon codes down below if you want to shop my stickers. So definitely check that out. And yeah, let's go ahead and just get started with this video. The very first thing we're going to be creating is the cover page. And I'm starting off with the scrapbook paper. Now you can use whatever scrapbook paper. I chose to use these. And this is from Pink Paisley, I believe. And I really love this. It's just like beautiful colors. And the back of them is white, so I can print on the other side of it. So this is what I did. I used this floral sheet right here. And on the back of it, I went ahead and printed off the cover that I created on Photoshop. So if you guys want this cover, by the way, let me know down below and I can add it to the shop if you want. For foiling, I'm going to be using my Mink Machine. This is the one from Heidi Swap, and I got mine at Michael's this Christmas. I'm so excited to finally have it. And I'm going to be using this foil. It's a deco foil. I'm not sure if it worked really good. It's my first time using this brand. So you will see how it turned out. But pretty much I just, you know, put it in the transfer folder, put the foil on it, and then just run this through the Mink Machine just like that. And then once it comes out, you just easily peel off the foiling, just like that. Now, it didn't turn out as great as I hoped. I'm not sure if it's like the setting on my mink machine or if it's the foil that I used. But I mean, this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good still, so I'm still going to use it. And now I'm going to go ahead and laminate it. I got a new laminator, which is so much better than the cheap one from Target, you guys. The one that I got from Target would always wrinkle and it just kind of ruined everything that I want to make. So I really didn't like using it after maybe like a year. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've had it for like two years. So I splurged a little bit on this new laminator and I'm just so happy that I did because it is perfect. It doesn't wrinkle or anything like that. So this is what the cover page looks like after I have trimmed it and also punched it. Um, I used the Happy Planner hole puncher for this if you're wondering. Now on to my monthly spread for the month of January. This washi tape I actually purchased at Hobby Lobby. It came in a set. And also the pink tape that I'm going to be using, uh, this one, was also in the set. So yeah, from Hobby Lobby, you guys. Now I got this new baby right here. It is the HP Sprocket. It is a photo printer. I got this for Christmas for my husband and I'm so happy about it. Um, I believe he purchased it on Amazon because that is the cheapest place to get it, you guys. And it's in stock and you get it right away. Um, and yeah, so here I am just printing off a photo. I really have been into this and uh, I might have some scrapbooking videos coming soon, you guys. So anyways, this is a photo of Tom and I and my parents um, from actually a few weeks ago when we, went, when we went out for dinner. So I'm just gonna place it right here in this corner. Now I'm going in with a few of my stickers that, you know, was from, I think this was from like November. I'm just trying to use it all up, you guys. Uh, so that one is a banner that says family time. This is what it actually looks like right here. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to use, you know, a few decorative stickers here and there. That one says always be grateful. Yeah, this was definitely from November kit. Um, but anyways, I'm just placing here some little boxes that kind of has the due dates, you know, for bills and whatnot. And also like a little paycheck sign right there. And then some more roses right here. My sister's birthday is actually on the 28th. So that's why I'm kind of decorating around that. And I also created this new sticker, which you guys will see later. Now these credit card stickers were from Cottage Hill Designs. I love them and I have a lot of them left. So I'm trying to use that up as well. So I'm just placing that on the days where I have to pay bills. And let's see. 
Um, I do have this sheet right here. I made it for myself, but let me know if it is something you guys want to see in the shop. But pretty much it has like all these destination stickers and a lot of like little label things. It's really meant for traveling as you can see. But yeah, so I'm just placing a few things here and there and this is it. So I kept it pretty simple for the monthly spread for this month just because I know that this month is busy and I have a lot of things coming up later on. So yeah, I really needed the space to write in and just to kind of keep track of everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now on to the weekly spread for next week. I went with kind of like the same theme. So I'm using the same washi tape, the marble washi tape from Hobby Lobby. Just placing that onto the sections just like this. So I'm placing it on this side and of course I'm gonna do the same thing onto the other side And if you're wondering I am using an exacto knife right here to cut it precisely um, Right on the line just like that you can see right here the other side of the spread And then I'm gonna go in with a different washi tape just to kind of add a little bit more color and texture into this spread So this washi tape I actually got from Michaels and it came in a set It's by Recollections that I know but I don't remember the exact set um, But yeah, it's super cute. It has you know like the gold foiling on it and everything So I'm just placing that onto the center part or like the middle section of the spread and back onto my HP sprocket. I really love this photo of me and my puppy. So I'm going to go ahead and print it off. And just uh, stick that onto the weekly spread. And oh my gosh. I really am addicted to this um, little photo printer. I think it's so good. I love it way more than the Polaroid one that I have. Um, I forgot what it's called. I mean, I love the Polaroid because it is different. But I love this a lot more because it's an actual photo. But anyways, this sticker is from my shop if you are wondering. So I will just have it linked for you down below. It's my shop. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much using that to um, decorate and set the theme for this spread. You know, just going with the light pinks and just the pastel colors. I think it looks so pretty. So here I am just using those little checklist boxes and also like labels here and there that says errands, um, don't forget, things to do and stuff like that. Also adding some page flags on the days when I'm going to be uploading videos here on my channel and just more to-do lists pretty much and like to buy and to go and things like that. So again i will have it all linked down below this is another sheet from my shop it is the favorites sheet it just has kind of like more decorative stickers on it so that one is like a plan um sticker and then i have this one with like a cute little mail on it with a pretty flower i don't know <laughs> And then this is the chores sticker. So of course I'm going to be using this because I do chores every week. I like to keep my house as clean as possible even though sometimes I forget to. So yeah, this is like, you know, really important for me because it reminds me to do these things. Otherwise I will totally, totally forget to do them and my house would just be a disaster. So anyways, yeah, this sticker sheet is available on my shop. If you're into like chores and things like that. Now the sheet right here is a little treat for you guys. You can get it for free with any order. Just use the code free mini. I will have all the details for the code listed down below in the description box for you guys. It's just a cute little sampler, you know, sticker sheet. Um, and then I'm going in with the Me My Big Ideas sticker book right here. This is the rose gold one and I love this. I love the rose gold foiling and all the really pretty feminine design in this book. It's so beautiful. So as you can see here, I'm just adding some really pretty quotes here and there to motivate me throughout the week. And it also adds a little bit of a color and, you know, texture to my weekly spread so I love it it's so cute and this is it you guys I'm so happy with how this turned out I usually use black ink to write stuff in so this is definitely something that I love because it's not going to distract me from all of my things to do so yeah I love it I hope you all enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching like usual I will have everything on my blog so it will be linked down below so don't forget to check that out I love you guys please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!